Hey everybody, Pastor T back with you guys for another daily devotional uh, scripture of the day. And today we're going to be looking at John 14, 27. And a little bit of context, John 14, 27, uh, from about verse 31 in chapter 13 to about uh, verse 33 of chapter 16, these are Jesus' final teachings. Uh, Jesus is, is preparing his disciples for ultimately what's about to come, his arrest, and ultimately his, his uh, crucifixion, burial, and, and resurrection. But he knows that in the coming days that things are going to change drastically in their life. So he's giving them some encouragement. And uh, he writes these words to them. He says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives. Don't let your heart be troubled or fearful. And uh, I don't know about you, but as soon as somebody tells me, uh, hey, don't be afraid, uh, I'm instantly, instantly afraid. You know, when somebody tells me, hey, don't worry about this, but I got to tell you something. How many of you are worried right away? But I want you to hear Jesus in this. Uh, the Old Testament word for peace, shalom, actually was a word that had much more depth than I think we comprehend today. The word peace not only was a greeting uh, and meant the, what we think it means where everything is calm, peace, shalom was completeness. It was wholeness. It was nothing missing, nothing broken. So everything was in its place where shalom was concerned. So Jesus says this, he says, peace I leave with you. Uh, when you go to the Old Testament, the coming Messiah was prophesied as being the Prince of Peace. He was the Sar Shalom. He was the ruler of peace. So he says, the peace that I'm going to give to you is going to be a peace, as the Apostle Paul would say, it's going to surpass your human understanding because in a few days, there are going to be some things that are going to happen where your heart's going to be troubled and you're going to be afraid. But he says, I'm leaving with you a peace, not like the world gives, because the world's peace is if everything is coming up roses, everything is good. Jesus says that my peace will supersede what's going on around you. So even when things look to be at their worst, he says, I'm leaving a peace with you that is, is going to surpass your understanding. I'm leaving you my peace nothing missing, nothing broken. Where are you at today? What's, what's going on in your life today where you're like, I'm, I'm scared. I'm Jesus. I'm afraid. What has you at this point where maybe you don't want to face another day? Jesus is here and he's saying, I have something for you. I have a peace. I have a, I have something to leave with you, something to give you that puts everything whole. My peace, even in the midst of everything going wrong, you will be stable and secure because later on he tells them the world he has in fact overcome. So when we have Christ, we have something that even when everything around us seems disturbed and moving and chaotic, we have something that can anchor our souls. So today I want to leave with you God's peace, the peace of Christ, a peace that makes no sense when everything around us seems to be moving crazy. But this is the peace that he leaves to all of us. And so today, I, I hope you can rest in the peace that Jesus Christ has given to us that no matter what's going on, we have no reason to be afraid or have troubled hearts because he's overcome the world. Till we meet again, later.